What's going on, guys? Um, this is a special video in the fact that it has been recently brought to me that the URL link for the software installation of the Newman GM610 no longer works. Um, I've tried to access it using that link as well, which is how I downloaded the software, as you can see here on the screen. Myself, two year, one year ago, um, almost now, and for some reason they took it down i'm not too sure why they would do that i'm not sure if there's another alternative however i've seen some people comment a few people comment say hey um i can't access this so i've i've come up with a solution which it is completely up to you whether you or not you want to do it because in all honesty i would be a little bit reluctant to just follow along with this guide because it will involve you installing an exe file however you don't have to trust me you don't if you don't want to i swear i don't want to put a virus on your computer i just want to help you guys get the software so you can use the keyboard to the best potential as possible so what i've done is in the um description of this video i have put in a google drive link that will allow you to download the software i want to keep it short and sweet so I have I had the link copied and pasted on my computer right now, so I'm just gonna go V it real quick. And this is what the URL looks like. Um, this is on my personal OneDrive. Actually, not my personal Google Drive, but it is on like my second account, which I don't I don't care about. If you want to hack me, go ahead. I don't care. Um, you open this link up, and as you can see here, it's called Newman GM610 Software. You don't even have to have Google Drive. You don't have to sign in. I'm an incognito tab, so it doesn't really matter. It's just, just yeah. And you come here. This is the uh, Newman GM610 setup.exe. So what you're going to do is you're just going to install it. I can do it. Um, it will say it's dangerous. I promise you it's not. Trust me. If you don't, trust me. I don't care. It's all your loss. You want the file. And then let's just put this in. Okay, here. I'll see my, all my files, guys. Put it in my downloads file. Um, so with that now installed, just open it. It will give you this. Um, I'm going to run it. So you're going to see it's not a virus. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it prompted me for admin. So if you're on admin, that sucks. English. And there you go, guys. I am not going to go through the installation because I already have the app, but I guess I can go through it. Um, so there's start menu, but that ladies and gentlemen is the software installation for the Newman GM610. Once you run through that software, remember that, um, where's my Newman? Sorry about that. Um, I had to pull up the Newman app, but remember that you, in order to use the software, you need to be on wired mode. That means con connected to your computer or laptop or whatever you have. Connect the keyboard to it and make sure you are in wired mode. To tell that, you will see the tab key above of the caps lock on the left side of the keyboard. It will be red. If it is red, that it, you are in wired mode. You need to be on wired mode before you open the application. Once you're what's on wired mode and connected, open the app and you'll be presented with something like this. Um, you can, here is where you change your RGB settings. I, I can go through this, I guess. Um, key settings. I have my arrow keys changed and for some reason my, okay. I don't know why that's a thing. And you could set macros. I have no idea how to do this. I have never tried to do this. And honestly, I could care less about this. If you want macros, go ahead and do it. It's just another feature of this keyboard that you can utilize and use. However, I think that is all I can really help show you in this video. I don't want to extend it. This is a short and sweet guide on how to install the app. This workaround will never be taken down, no matter unless Google Drive gets taken down, which then I guess it could be. As long as Google Drive stays safe, then you're fine. Um, you may get those virus things. I'm telling you right now, it's not a virus. That's what I just did. I walked through th you through it. For a little bit of it, you can complete the installation yourself, and there you go, you'll get the app. So, 
if you don't trust me and you say, yeah, I'm not taking the risk, or if you want to do a virus scanner on it, go ahead. If there's a virus on it, then I guess Newman just kind of virused us all. What can we do about it? <laughs> I'm kidding. I hope there's not a virus, but I've run virus scanners and I've never seen something like this. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. If you could, if I've helped you out, could you please leave a like and subscribe? I really would appreciate it. Um, any issues, please leave a comment below. I can try to help you, but in all honesty, there's not much more I can do from here. If Newman takes it down, it kind of's up to them to put it back up. I, I can try. I've made a bunch of videos on the Newman, so I feel like if you have any questions, just let me know. I, I can try to answer for you guys. So that is the that's all for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.